Welcome back, everyone. I'll go ahead and give you a brief introduction into Widget Smith, which is basically the newest, latest, and greatest, craziest app that allows you to do a ton of different customizations within iOS 14. Now, you will need iOS 14 in order to utilize it for its you know most capability, so kind of keep that in mind. Now, if you don't know what Widget Smith is, basically it's a widget app that allows you to customize your widgets more thoroughly than what iOS stock iOS can do. So. You want to go ahead and download the specific app to search up Widget Smith on the App Store and you can go and download it. And once you open it up, you'll pretty much come to a page that looks something like this. Obviously, you won't have all these little widgets that I have here, but you'll have a ton of different options still. So, so basically within iOS, as you can see, we have, if we go and click down here, swipe to the side, click edit and click the plus button up here. When we click on a widget, we can go ahead and customize its size so we can get a small one, get a big one or a medium one and then a large one. Now this one only has two. Now within Widgetsmith, it's pretty much the same exact layout. So we can add a small widget, we can add a medium widget, or we can add a large widget if we want to. So in this case, let's go ahead and add a medium widget, which is something that I haven't really done too often. So we can go and click Add Medium Widget. And in this case, you can do the same exact process for small or whatever. You want to go ahead and tap on the widget. Now once you tap on it, you'll come into this page. Now you can usually leave this one how it is. If you want to add a timed one, you can go and click on it. But in this case, we'll go ahead and click on, you know, Widget Smith. And here is where you can literally do whatever you want to. And I'll go ahead and show you all the little capabilities behind it. So here we can go ahead and change the style of this specific widget. So if you want this one, you can go and click this one. If you want to do this one, you can click this one. And they have a ton of different options. Now, some of them are paid for, like these ones are paid for options. So keep that in mind if you like, you know, if you don't mind paying for it, then I guess go for it. But they have the activity bar, they have all these other ones right here. And within them, you can go ahead and customize it however you want to further. So let's go ahead and say we want this specific widget style that we have. Well, the next option is font. Now you can change the font to whatever you want to. If you like this type of font, go for it. If you like this one, go for it. And there's a couple of different options that you can choose from. I'm pretty sure they're going to add more eventually when the time comes. Now the next option is tint color. And this will kind of break it down and this will kind of help you kind of distinguish this specific widget against other ones by, you know, changing the color of it. So if you want a really weird one, you can do yellow. If you want a cool one, whatever you want to. So you can go and customize it however you'd like, which is really, really awesome. So let's say in this case, we want to do this purple one. And the last one is the background color. Now you can go ahead and change it to whichever setting you want to, to whichever way you want to. Now this one kind of low-key looks pretty cool, but the cream one also looks pretty cool. And I've seen a lot of people kind of customize it further on their home screens. I've seen a lot of them on TikTok. So you can go ahead and go through this one. kind of looks like the Life of Pablo one. And you can change it to whatever you want to. Now beyond that, you can also change the border color. So we can go ahead and click on whichever one to. And you can do this with any other widget. So let's say you chose like the activity bar. You can do the exact same thing for those ones as well. Whatever options are available, you can do it there. Now let's say we want the gray bar right here. Well, in this case, all you would have to do is swipe back. You'll come in here and you just want to click the save button on the top right corner. So in this case, I'll go and click save. Now, once you do that, all you'll have to do left is customize whatever other widgets you want to. Now, in this case, all you want to do is swipe out. You'll come into this page. What you want to do is, first of all, if you don't know how to get there, get all the way over here and swipe to the side to get into the widget panel. You want to go and click edit and you want to click the plus button, which is all the way on the top left corner. Now, once you're here, all you have to do is scroll down until you see the Widget Smith icon, which is all the way at the bottom. So you want to go and click Widget Smith, which is right here. Now, you want to find that specific size that you just had and that you just modified. So if you did a small one, you're going to do the small one. If you did this one, this one, if you wanted a large one, do the large one. But in this case, we did do a medium sized one. So you want to go ahead and add the medium sized widget, which will come here. Now, in this case, you want to go ahead and drag it to whatever page you want to. So let's say we want it on the main page right here. What we can do here is go ahead and hold it down. You'll come into this page. You want to go ahead and click Edit Widget. So go ahead and click here. Now, because this is the medium widget that we edited earlier, what we want to do is we basically want to get this one to connect to the medium widget that we made. So if you remember, if you go ahead and look back, the medium widget that we modified was medium number two. So when medium number one is the one showing, but medium number two is the one that we want to go ahead and go to. So again, hold it down, click Edit Widget. You want to go ahead and click on this and you want to click medium number two. Now this will make it so instead of having medium number one show, it'll show medium number two, which is the one we just edited. So from here, you can go ahead and modify this further. You can also add another widget and do the exact same thing. Just remember to make sure it's the correct size to the one you just modified within Widget Smith. But that's really pretty much the process. You just kind of rinse and repeat and do whatever you want to. Add it here, drag it over, and pretty much connect it to the one you just edited. So. 
that's really pretty much the process. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.